Hello everybody, Wolfpack here, and welcome back to some more Rise of Flight. Today we'll be taking off with number 56 squadron once again, and we are going to be proceeding on a line patrol. We're taking off with Owen Harris, Henry Knight, Peter Adams, and myself. So a uh, flight of four today. Uh, let's go ahead and check headquarters, just headquarters and see where we are going. Alright, so line patrol. It's right here. Uh, looks like we're jogging up northeast and then going down. That's an interesting path. I guess that does cover quite a good chunk of the front. Um, I was looking, the weather is pretty bad. Um, it, it is slowly getting worse each day. Let's see here. Um, heavy clouds at a base of 1,400 meters. Barometer south, west southwest, uh, five meters per second, or that's the wind speed. So yikes! And uh, it looks like earlier today Joshua Wright was wounded in action. So that's I thought we were taking off with him. No, we're taking off with Peter Adams. My my apologies. And let's see where we're at. We have flown quite a few sorties at this point. Uh, it's just we haven't gotten into much action, which is more or less what it was like. There were definitely uh, quite a few periods of downtime. All right, let's see where we're at. So Jack Brown, no kills or anything of the such. We have four successful... Oh, we've flown four sorties in total. Okay, so this will be our fifth sortie and uh, three were successful and we have a total of two hours and 41 minutes of flight time so so far we're doing pretty well uh, we haven't died yet so <laughs> in my uh, in my book that is good all right so I'll go ahead and see you guys on the uh, the airfield all right hello everybody and welcome onto the runway once again here and there's our, our friendly says I'm warming up my engine come on why am I not uh, starting my engine there we go all right as you can see the wind is pretty bad over there so that is going to take some getting used to with all of our engines started I'll go ahead and get underway here and as you can see I have the Atlas installed onto my aircraft so hopefully it will be of some use and I'm going to probably end up taking off the same way I did before. Just over in between the, that tree gap right there. Just to kind of avoid uh, taking off in such a heavy crosswind. I will discuss the Atlas site once we're airborne and I don't have to concentrate on uh, taking off. Let's go ahead and put on the gas and full throttle this. Alright, let's try to avoid hitting a tree. Try to avoid... Uh, crashing. Alright, getting pretty close to those trees. <laughs> oh boy, that was close. Alright, well we are airborne. It's actually very easy to take off into the wind, as you would expect. Um, because uh, taking off that way is fairly easy, honestly. It's just like a breeze. Alright, so about the Atlas site. It's a type of uh, primitive... It's a very primitive site. I think uh, it's technically... Oh boy. It doesn't magnify or anything like that. I'm not sure exactly what kind of sight it is. I think it's, I don't think it's a reflector sight or anything like that. But it is, one interesting about it is the tube, as you can see, is filled with inert gas. So it stops it from fogging up or icing over in these, uh, in these very cold conditions. The Germans would capture these and had no idea why the British would use them because they would always fog up and such and it took them a while to figure out that they filled them with gas because uh, generally when the Germans captured them they would get damaged from a crash landing or something like that and kind of break so but I'm not sure what kind of what kind of site it technically is it's very primitive but hopefully it will serve us well uh, one of the things that is unpopular with, about it is that it is very big and does take up a lot of space. So your visibility is a little more uh, hindered from it. But honestly, with this plane, it, I think it was honestly meant to have it installed. I mean, that circle right in front of our windshield is perfect for it. So uh, hopefully it will 
it will serve us well. I went ahead and installed it because we did we did shoot down two balloons, whether they were confirmed or not. So I am I am uh, I'm gonna treat myself a little bit, and it looks like my my squad is just barreling ahead way faster than me. But uh, that's generally how it is. It's kind of annoying, but. And the clouds are still terrible, as we discussed earlier, but... Alright, let's see where we're going. Yeah, we're heading northeast, so we're jogging up pretty, pretty steeply. So... I will go ahead and, uh, I guess I'll just cut here. I have nothing else to really talk about. I'll read a little bit more about the site as I fly about, because I am interested with it. Um, honestly, I see a lot of conflicting things on what it is. That's why I'm not 100% sure what kind of site it is. And I am, I need to focus on flying instead of talking about a gun sight, so I will cut here and get back to you guys fairly shortly. Alright, we have become, uh, we have plunged into a somewhat steep dive into the clouds. I don't know what my friend has decided to do here. I'm going to go ahead and uh, pull out of that dive. I'd rather not do, not participate in that the way he is. I'm going to go ahead and just spiral down. I think we are trying to get below the clouds, so let's go ahead and begin our dive. Try not to, uh, try not to make it too steep. I don't have a... I think we're still okay. Ah, my plane keeps jolting up. Come on, dive, dive. There we go. All right, and here's no man's land. Wonderful. Oh, oh, there's gunfire. Let's hit the gas. Let's get over there quickly. I wonder who's in trouble. Oh, they're sh being shot at. I don't know if it's ground fire or an actual uh, Hun machine. I want to say it was gunfire, but it was coming at kind of a upward angle like it was coming through the clouds so all right there's an is that an aircraft or a balloon it's a balloon not worried about balloons at the moment all right I need to find my comrades this is not good it's pretty bad actually um let's go ahead and check my map so I am over the German line, so it's probably not a good idea to be flying this slow and low. Uh, I have no idea where they went. Let's go ahead and climb through this blur break in the clouds here. God, these clouds make it extremely difficult to find my enemies, and I think I saw two specks way up there. Yep. Lewis gun is blocking my view. There are two aircraft, one very large aircraft. So let's go ahead and climb up there and see what's what. Archie is going absolutely bananas with our presence. <laughs> Good luck hitting me though. I don't see anything else about, however. No other... Oh, Jesus! Where the hell did that come from? Was that an Archie shell? I don't want to know what kind of damage uh, was inflicted on me with that one. See, I see tracer rounds. And they seem to be coming from... Okay, this is not good. Either the German artillery is doing one hell of a job knocking me out. Okay, let's turn about. Okay, they're attacking a balloon. Let's turn over there. Are we flying back over my lines now? Uh. 
That has to be my uh, companions attacking the German balloon. I think that's what's going on over there. Wow, the, but the ground fire has really messed me up. I'm actually surprised they've hit me. This t hit me twice, so... I need to be careful when I dive. I do not want to uh, rip my wings off or destroy any surfaces in a high-speed dive. So I need to be careful with that, even though it looks like my wings are okay. I think they mostly hit me in my fuselage. My engine's kind of choking a little bit. Let's go ahead and throttle down. Alright, there's the balloon. Alright, and let's try to find my friends. Or go ahead and make a pass on the balloon, I suppose. I guess there are no German aircraft about. I'm just very paranoid. <laughs> Fearing for my life. Alright, let's go ahead and take this guy down. Yeah, six is still clear, so I, I'm just paranoid. Let's go ahead and test out this new site. And it's actually a collimator site. I don't know if I said it was a uh, reflector site or not before, but uh, reflector sites are like what we see in uh, the World War II aircraft. All right, let's go ahead and throttle down a bit, and they are already bringing it down. This is definitely more accurate than what I was doing, so. Got some hits. My Vickers gun is already jammed. Alright, and she's on fire. There she goes. Alright, she is gone. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> oh my god. Man, these ground crews are on point right now. Not a fan of that, and I, it looks like I really just pissed them off. All right, time to time to get out of dodge. All right, well I will go ahead and climb above the clouds and start searching for my my flight, uh, as I usually do, and hopefully I can get with them. If not, I will probably try to. Hey, shit. Okay, let's. <laughs> Let's kind of start changing course a little bit, making it a little more difficult for those gunners to hit me, because they are getting very close. Closer than I would expect. Alright, well, I'll go ahead and climb and look for my friends, and I will get back to you guys momentarily. Alright, looks like uh, bogeys have been detected. There's my flight right up there. Um, no, that is not my flight. That is a flight of three albatrosses. Okay. Um, then I don't want to know what those guys are. Let's go see what's on over here. Maybe they're friendly. Oh shit, this is not good. Alright, let's run over there and see if they're friendly and can help me. <laughs> Can't make them out. But they do look rather British. Looks like those albatrosses might be buggering off. Yeah, these guys are definitely Brits. But, uh, yeah, they are. Okay, I just wanted to make 100% sure. Are those albatrosses coming in? I think they might be. Well, at least I found some friends. Uh, let's kick it around and begin the pursuit. Are they coming for us? Okay, looks like there's a group of two coming in. Okay, they're fighting. Time to get over there. Go help out my allies. This is the fight I've been late waiting for, folks. Here we go, now's my time to shine. 
Let's see. I'll try to make out the situation. Looks like three. there were three albatrosses in that formation. That's an albatross right there dead ahead. And it looks like only two, two uh, Brit aircraft. I don't know if they are SE-5s or not or what they are. What's that flying dead above me? That's a kraut. Okay. <laughs> Great. Let's see. Uh, he definitely has an advantage. Hopefully he does not dive down upon me. But it looks like he's kind of running for home. He might be wounded. Alright, well let's press the attack here. Yep, there's the two British planes. And here's one albatross. Kind of flying by itself. I'm playing the catch-up game here. Maybe he won't even see me. Okay, one more albatross. And yeah, that's another one. Hello. Looks like they just kind of took a couple of pot shots at each other and then broke off the combat. Alright, here we go. So far it's one on one. If they start doubling up on me, I'll just dive away since we do have a lot of altitude to play with. Got some hits. I need to clear my guns. My gun's jammed once again. Or it looks like I'm just out of ammo. Oh shit, that was close. Close to a ram. Alright, it looks like the other two are kind of joining in here. So it might be... Oh! Reinforcements have arrived. Awesome. Make sure my, I'm clean. Okay, guns are good. Man, reloading that Lewis gun really... Uh, oh, okay. Don't want to get rammed. Here we go. Ugh. Airspeed is pretty low at the moment. Coming up right behind him. I have him now. This is it. I think. Yeah, I can keep up with this. Easy peasy. I wonder what the black tail is. I wonder what uh, Yasa is part of it. Okay, he's leaking pretty thick smoke. I don't know if that's just exhaust or... Uh... Alright, let's let him do his thing. Yikes. There we go. I think he's damaged. <clears throat> okay. Let's keep an eye on him from up here. But I think he might actually just be going down. Maybe not. Because he is losing... A, he is killing a lot of altitude for... Shit, this goddamn cloud. It's gonna make me lose my prize. Diving too fast. Pull up, pull up. Let's get out of the cloud, please. Oh, this cloud is really just... Whoa, whoa, whoa. That's not good. Holy crap. Okay, there he is. You need to be careful not to shred my wings off. We lost a lot of altitude, obviously, but there's my albatross friend. does not look 
too good. I do think he might honestly crash on his own, but I want to be sure. Yeah, this propeller is... Let's confirm this kill. Buddy, if I were you, I would land. Before I pelt you with more bullets. I'll wait and watch him. Make sure the coast is clear. I don't know if he's trying to glide down or what, but... Uh, he keeps turning around. And yeah, propellers quits. Good fight. Good fight, hands. Let's go ahead and watch him touch down. Let's fix our gun. Oh, wow. That was an artillery shell that just bursted right next to him. Okay. So I think I'm out of ammo in my Lewis gun, so it's probably best to uh, start returning home. And did he just crash into the trees there? Oh yeah, oh no. Yeah, he sure did. Well, that's pretty grim, but that's our first aerial victory. I probably could have let him be, but I absolutely wanted to be sure I got the kill. So, let's go ahead and see where the hell we are. Okay, we're on the German side of the lines. Now, it is possible he survived, even though uh, that doesn't look very good. But Let's go ahead and uh, head on home. I still have ammo for my Vickers gun, however, so I'll go ahead and climb back above the clouds and see what's what. I'm sure the air combat has kind of died down up there. So, you know what? I'm actually going to head home. Uh, I have some structural damage from the two, from the ground fire I've taken on. I have no idea how that is. So, I'll go ahead and uh, go ahead and head home. And I'll see you guys uh, momentarily. All right, and there is home sweet home. Let's go ahead and I'll uh, land this bird and get out and celebrate our first aerial victory. I'm actually very happy with how that ended out. Uh, that could have gone very badly <laughs> also, uh, but luckily our comrades came to help us just in time. Let's go ahead and check the windsock here. Make sure uh, we don't land in a bad spot. All right, so this is probably the way I wanted to land. So let's go ahead and throttle up, loop around, and make our landing approach. Hello, guys. Our first albatross with the black tail. I wonder what Yasta that's a part of. I'm sure I can. I'll go ahead and check. See if we can find that out, but. It's very menacing. We got very close to him. And also I want to expect the damage to our plane. See how <laughs> badly we got shot up. I expect it wasn't too po bad because uh, we were able to we were able to dive out of the clouds fairly steeply, a little steeper than I uh, honestly wanted, so... Alright. see, our airspeed is still a little high, but... We'll make do. Flare. Oh boy. There we go. Alright. And there we go. Nice easy, uh, nice easy landing. And oh, looks like our friends have already arrived. Hello. Yeah, they're landing as well. <laughs> I didn't even see them. That's crazy. All right, let's take a look at our plane. Huh? It looks like there is a. I don't see any bullet holes. Oh boy. It's 
Come on, game. Why are you doing this? That's so weird. Yeah, I don't see any damage. So it might have just been uh, extremely close. I thought I did hear fabric rip, though. But I, uh, I guess not. I guess I was wrong. All right, well, let's go ahead and uh, finish the mission. No, come on. Finish flight. There we go. And hopefully we actually got our kills this time. We did shoot down one balloon and then one albatross. And yes, we got credit for both. One balloon, one albatross. Owen Harris. How was our flight leader, I thought? Or one of them. He was one of our higher ranking officers. He crashed. He did end up shooting down one German aircraft, however. Henry Knight and Peter Adams got back home unscathed. Mission time, that was a 54 minute flight, wow. Wow, all right, let's go ahead and proceed. And uh, let's go to headquarters and see what uh, Yasta, oh, I think we'll get a medal for shooting down a plane. Been uh, awarded the Crox de Guerre. Cro I, I'm not sure that's French, but yeah, I'm, I'm not too sure the meaning behind this medal or what it means, but I'll definitely look it up now. But it is a French medal, I'm pretty sure. All right. So let's see. So we shot down Alexander Dannenberg. Nice name. He was a part of Yasta 12. Let's see, where, where are they located? Yep, down here. From Rucord. And they fly the Albatross D3 and D5. I think we shot down a 5. Does it tell me? Yep, D5A. Alright, well, and we lost Owen Harris here. He was killed in action. And he was a lieutenant. Yeah, see, he was one of the higher ranking officers. Alright, well, I suppose that's it for this today. Um, yep, that's the last mission of the day. So, thank you all for watching. This is Wolfpack signing off. And I'll see you guys on the next one, on the 21st, uh, July 21st. Um, thank you all for watching as always, and I will see you guys later.